Oh, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your host with the most white boy, 7th Street, and it's 3 a.m. in the morning right now. My sleep schedule is absolutely wrecked, and I figured I would do one of these vlogs to be a little bit productive instead of just sitting here. I mean, I'm just sitting here, but I'm talking. They're very therapeutic, and I like doing them, so I hope you guys don't mind, and also, do you guys like these vlogs better than commentaries? Because I saw a very positive feedback on my last vlog. Lots of likes, lots of nice comments. So let me know an honest opinion in the comments down below. You guys can help me out make better videos for you guys. It, it'll be a tremendous help if you can comment down below. Do you like the vlogs better? Do you like the commentaries better? Or both? Because at the end of the day, they're kind of both the same thing where it's an audio diary. I'm just spilling out my feelings to you guys and talking giving you advice or whatever it is that comes from these vlogs it's just me talking but it's a difference on what you see so i would be interested in hearing what you think in the comments down below and there's pros and cons to both of them like if i was doing a commentary right now i could hide this freaking face growing out of the front of my forehead i always had a problem with pimples and I could be one of those fake phony youtubers putting makeup cover up wiping their ass twice try, <laughs> trying to look nice but when you get me you get the legit me you get all of me and I'm just it's, it's just me that you get I don't I don't try to sugarcoat anything and yeah I always had a problem with pimples ever since I was a horny little high school student and one tip I can give you guys if you're going through that same thing don't pick at them don't pop at them you're just getting more dirt in there you're just making it worse and that's what I did to this one but it is one of the most satisfying feelings or one of the most revealing feelings kind of like you ever watch a long movie or it, it, it's it's it seems super long when you have to pee but you have to pee when you're watching this movie and, and you're just rocking back and forth in your chair maybe moving your leg up and down you just had one of those big 49 69 ounce slushies the blue or the red ones I like the blue ones but anyways uh, you know after you get that long pee out it feels so good and that's kind of what happens with pimples like I I know and I can pinpoint the pimple addiction popping point in my life. So if you remember season one of the TV show Jackass on MTV, there was some guy, some just random dude, I think they blurred out his face, but they didn't blur out like him popping a pimple on the side of his nose and he, or as a blackhead or something. And he popped it and it was like, two three inches long and it was just like sticking on the end of it this is kind of, i hope you're not eating this would be disturbing if you were i'm sorry but i remember that seeing that and then i was like you can do that and then i asked my god sister if she could help me because i had an annoying pimple and i didn't know how to pop it properly i mean i was like a you know 14 year old herpter how do you not know how to pop a freaking pimple but I asked her for some advice. She showed me the proper technique. And then, you know, the rest is history. I remember one more pimple story. I guess you guys like my high school stories. This is one just that just popped into my mind. Like I popped, I remember having a, a Lil Wayne, like I remember Lil Wayne rapping and I was like, I pop people like pimples. It's simple, put a bullet in your cheek and I'll call you a dimple. I don't know, it was just something. That was like way back in the day I wrote that. But anyways. I remember my, my teacher told me that same advice I gave you guys, like leave it alone, stop, you know, stop picking at it. And I went to school one day with this huge Rudolph the Red Nose, you know, it was right on the tip and it just, it was bothering, I think it was a Monday and I, it was bothering me the whole weekend and it was just brewing and uh, it was just growing the whole weekend and I went to school and it was just this big huge pimple on the tip of my nose and I remember in lunch I didn't sit I just like sat by myself and I was dealing with this pimple trying to like pop it because it was on the tip of my nose and I remember grabbing a napkin from you know from the lunch uh, like, by the forks and stuff 
So I grabbed a napkin and I remember just like sitting down like this, trying to hide myself on the lunch table and just like, I had some leverage on, cause it was at the tip of my nose and I had a lot of leverage with that pimple. So I just like, I was trying to squeeze it out and I was just going at it so hard. And I remember doing it and I finally, I finally made it happen. I finally like exploded it and it was a huge, you know, like a gusher. It was like a popping open a gusher. And, and I popped it, I remember like, oh, and I, I made a noise like I ejaculated or something. And then this, like, I remember it was a cute girl. She was like looking at me a few tables down because I was at the end of one table, she was at the end of the other, and it just like, she was making eye contact and she just had something in her mouth. And then I like, I, I looked at the, uh, like the remnants of it, just to see, I don't know if you got like, after you wipe your ass, do you look at the toilet paper? Ew, um, this is a gross freaking, this is what happens when I'm up late night. I don't know, it just gets gross, it gets dirty. So I look at it and then I look up at her and then she has something in her mouth and she didn't, I don't know, it didn't seem like she enjoyed that. So, yeah, I don't know, I had a little pimple story that I wanted to tell you guys. I'm just up late night and kind of uh, bored here, so I, I don't know, I just wanted to talk to you guys, sit down and do a late night story, a really gross story. I'm, I apologize if if you're the weak of hearts or the weak of stomach. But yeah, guys, if you go or girls, if you're going through uh, pimple problems, just don't pick at it. Wash your face with hot, warm water, maybe some disinfectant soap, and it should be good. I'm gonna take my advice, and yeah, that's it's a pretty big one, but it's just it's, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. We'll get over it. But yeah, um, let me know if you have any weird, strange addictions in the comments down below, like pimple popping or anything like that. All right, guys, thank you for watching, and let me know if you like comment or if you like commentaries or vlogs like this and be sure to leave a like rating if you're watching to this point in the video that would be appreciated it helps you know each and every like does help and uh yeah so bye i'll see you later and uh, hit